All right, then if you have an area, so right here in my picture, I would really like the original image color for it, but I'd like it to be a lighter color, like what's in the foreground. I am going to use my sponge color tool. So that's the little sun. And you have all your settings up at the top. The strength works similar to how I was just erasing and I was just erasing a little bit at a time instead of a whole bunch. The lower the number, the weaker the brush is going to be meaning the more times you're going to have to click and move over that part. So if I'm using my sponge tool, I can make things lighter or darker. Make sure you're on the correct layer. So I'm working on this image layer. Let me move this up really high so you can see see how it's making it darker if i have increase if i click decrease it's going to make it much lighter and again that's this sponge tool which is the sun and i can do the vibrance the saturation, which is how much color is there. So if I want something to start looking more black and white, let me switch to this green picture. So if I wanna start making something look black and white and take the color away from a specific area, I'm going to decrease the saturation. If I want it to look even brighter, I can increase the saturation. And that's going to brighten the area, just the colors in the area. And temperature is going to brighten and darken also. So increase is going to make it look brighter. Decrease temperature is going to make it look darker. It's actually putting more greens and blues in the picture for temperature if you're decreasing and more reds, yellows, and oranges if you are increasing the temperature. So the vibrance is going to be a good way to make something look either a little bit dark, a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, but keep a lot of the same colors. Saturation is going to turn it either super bright with the colors or black and white with the colors. And temperature is going to change whether it has more reds and yellows or more blues and greens. And that's this little sun tool over on the left-hand side. Be careful not to use it too much because it gets very easy to adjust something enough in your picture that it doesn't necessarily go with the rest of your picture. So as you're working, make sure that this strength is staying pretty low and you're not adjusting huge amounts or your picture can start to look strange. But here we can look at, this is what the area, looked like before I adjusted it. And this is what it looks like after I adjusted it with the sponge tool.